think you need to relax a little bit, so let me give you a massage here, huh? Passenger side, pulse mode, fast and vigorous. There you go. It's starting to move and do things. Oh, oh my. That's really hitting the spot. Trying to get you uh, sort of relaxed to where the bill hopefully isn't as high. I don't know. It might be even higher yet now. The bill's growing? Yes, there's some so things growing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and I am being massaged right now in my latest purchase, a 2008 Mercedes CL65 AMG, a very rare AMG twin turbo V12 coupe with over 600 horsepower that I bought for only $19,000. This was originally over $200,000, so over 90% off its MSRP for something that's very rare. Production of these in total in the six, 700 range. This year, about 300 cars built. But it was cheap for a reason. It does have some issues. The most pressing one is the blower motor not working so I have this window crack so it doesn't fog up as I drive up to the car wizards which also means I have no heat so I just have the heated seat on and the heated steering wheel to keep me warm not the end of the world but obviously something that we would like to have working again and I'm sure since it was a 15 year old Mercedes that was just traded in it has some neglect some issues some maintenance that needs to be caught up on but also the car wizard has been very busy working on other cars, other hoopties up at his shop, my Callaway Camaro, my 46 Chrysler Town & Country, and the 49 Cadillac, and supposedly my 300,000 mile Ford Raptor is done, and it was a massive amount of work. So let's head to the car wizard and see where all of my money always goes and have him inspect this latest prize of mine. Whoa, God, that's fast. But before I arrive at the Wizards, I have magically teleported myself back into the hangar to thank Priority Tire for sponsoring this video. A few weeks ago, they sent their Venom 35-inch tires for my Raptor, which I'll be picking up today, and they are really perfect for a heavy off-roader like my truck. The tread is aggressive, but still good for the highway, and Priority Tire has a great deal for Hoobies Garage fans. Use the code PTHG1223 for 5% off all tires and accessories valid until January 31st, or VPHG1223 for 10% off for Venom Power Tires, what's on the Raptor, valid until January 31st as well. In addition to Venom Power, Priority Tire offers various brands, both top tier and budget. Be sure to check out the website where you can find a great deal on the perfect tire for your car and get fast and easy shipping. Now let's get back to the video though, where a whole pile of hoopties are getting worked on. Wizard! What's going on? You're not using my Lamborghini tractor to plow. No, it's getting fixed. It's getting worked on. I'm getting all this nasty ice out of the way. I've, to, I've had to push like six cars getting stuck already. Well, I appreciate it because this thing gets stuck very, very easy. I can imagine. Here, hop in though. It's a lot of fun. Alright. Get some inertia here to get through the snow. Woo! Snow drifting in a CL65. Made it! So the only issue that I'm really having with this car is the blower motor just kicking out. It, like it doesn't work at all okay. most of the time. The first start of the day, it always works. And then if I go and restart it later in the day, once everything's warmed up, I have no blower motor, no heat. Okay. Which is kind of important. I have a collision alert failure warning on the dash. So something with the sonar system, I don't know. Might be disconnected or aimed wrong. Or right. Anything. It does have an accident on the Carfax for the front end, so oh, no. maybe it's something that never got fixed. Could be. And also, I can feel the V12 a little bit more than I should. Yeah, I can feel that. That vibration a bit, uh -huh. so motor mounts. Transmission mount, motor mounts. Yeah, but yeah. power-wise, we are still... Whoop, traction control. Whoa, good thing I'm, my surgery's healed up. Whew. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> it's crazy. Over 600 horsepower from the factory with this thing, which is a little hard to put to the pavement in the best conditions, uh, but here in the cold and with all this snow and stuff, it's... Uh... Man, this thing moves. You know what it makes me miss? Your old S600 that you had to get yes. tuned and everything? Yes. Oh my goodness. So that, that was tuned to about this horsepower, the stock 
Mercedes twin turbo V12. This one being an AMG, you can find an extra 100 horsepower, 100 torques just with a plug and play tune. So 700 horsepower, uh, something fun to do, I suppose. Man, it moves with authority. Yeah. I can definitely feel clunking like mounts moving around. Yes, 93,000 miles. So I'm sure there will be some things. Probably more than that, yeah. All right, if we take a look. Yeah, let's go take a look. But before we get into things, Wizard, I think you need to relax a little bit. So let me give you a massage here, huh? Passenger side, pulse mode, fast and vigorous. There you go. It's starting to move and do things. Yes. Oh, oh my. That's really hitting the spot. So you're getting ready to dump me off here. So you're getting fast and vigorous and you're gonna dump me. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get you uh, sort of relaxed to where the bill hopefully isn't as high. I don't know. It might be even higher yet now. The bill's growing? Yes, there's some so things growing. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't she a beaut, but Wizard's already back on my wood, rubbing here. Both in the wood. Uh, looks like you're full as far as all the lifts, and it's mostly with my hoopties, huh? Yes, it's all Who's Garage going on in here. Well, give us the tour, starting with the Callaway Camaro, which had the classic LT1 leak, huh? Yes, even Callaway is not exempt from LT1 shenanigans. So you have the water pump ripped out, yes. Yep. And beneath it was the OptiPart, OptiFart system, OptiSpark system, mm -hmm. which is now all gone. Looks like it was leaking, huh? Yep, these are the seals that you have to replace while you're here, these little drive seals and whatnot. If you put this back together and you don't change those seals, it's guaranteed it's gonna leak. You don't have to pull it all back apart again. Okay, so it's all over here, I see. So, old water pump and OptiSpark, right? Yep, and you can see where it was kind of sharding out of there. Oh dear. And it was spraying, you can see the spray pattern on here. the OptiSpark. All over your OptiSpark. Wonderful. Such a common LT1 problem. Okay, and then here's the new AC Delco water pump, and then that's a fancy looking OptiSpark there. Yep, this is an upgraded one, yes. All right. Very nice one. Kind of goes with the whole motif of the uh, red and custom looking Callaway there. It does, and we also found you mentioned sometimes it'll stall on you, just quit. Yeah, I figured it was the OptiSpark. No, it was actually, we found, whoever worked on this before you bought this car, this was folded in like this, and it was torn. Just unchecked, oh. unchecked air getting in. So the air would be coming through here, through the mass airflow sensor, and then this goes into the, the throttle body, huh? Right. And it was pinched. Pinched and torn. Oh, dear. So that'll help it probably idle a lot better, which yes. was a bit of an issue before. Definitely. Okay. All right. And is this... This isn't from my car, I assume, right? No, this is Euro-Asian Bob's Ferrari. Oh, a clutch? Yeah, well, his clutch is good. We're replacing some seals on it. I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, next down the road, it looks like Daniel's son is not working on a Ferrari, so he's sad. Just yeah, just I'm pretend. Sorry. 1946 was the first year of Ferrari. This is a 46. Just just pretend. Okay. Yeah. This is a Ferrari. It's, it's a a really old Ferrari, yes. So where we last left off on this, you were looking for a coolant leak. Yes, we found that actually the radiator cap is failing. It was just purging pressure past through this pipe, which in the old days, the way that they collected that fluid was just dump it on the ground. So that's what it did. No expansion tank or overflow tank in these. So, yeah. But it looks like you've taken some stuff off, though. Is that the thermostat right there? Or where it was yeah that was the thermostat housing but the water pump we noticed when it was running last while we were trying to check some things out it was making like a really bad sound and we found out that the water pump is bad oh oh it does not look like the coolant was pretty in there no sitting in a museum for 20 oh no and no thermostat oh no i need one of those yes very crusty and Nasty in there. So it needs a really good flush. Yes. And so this is my water pump. That's what would have been spinning on a belt. And it's <laughs> it's not supposed to it's like a like a kid's loose tooth or something. So that was a noise. It was just rocking back and forth the fan. What can happen is it gets so bad that the fan starts cutting into the radiator. Oh. I wouldn't want to have to get a new one of those radiators. Right. 
Okay. So we found that. That was not uh, in the original inspection that we did. That was something new. So is a water pump easy to get? Actually found one on eBay. Really? Yeah. How much? Two or three hundred bucks. It wasn't bad. All right. And I guess Daniel's son has been working on a Ferrari a little bit. What's going on down here? The head's back on? Yeah, the head's are back on. I'm degreeing the cams. So this is my 94 Ferrari 456 and 10,000 kilometers on it or whatever. And the engine's been kind of rebuilt twice now. So how are things looking now with this second assembly? Better, I hope? Yeah, a lot better. The heads look perfect. Um, it was a uh, muscle machining from down in Clearwater. Well, someday I'll have a running 456 again. This yes. has been a quite a saga, it has unfortunately. Been. Yeah, so <laughs> speaking of sagas, uh, what little thing has to uh, be fixed for the whole nose to come off on this Audi? Uh, the thermostat. <laughs> where Where was it? It sits right here. So timing belt, everything has to come off. So on the 46 town and country, <laughs> the thermostat is right here, two bolts, it's off in 30 seconds, and on a modern Audi, it is... Uh, all of that, <laughs> plus the bumper upstairs. It's progress. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we've moved forward very much. Oh, God, what a nightmare these things are. Yes. Huh. Yeah, but uh, DeLorean is not mine. I do certainly miss mine, but the uh, 49 Cadillac, uh, you've taken the radiator out for me. Because yes. it was leaking. This is the radiator on the ground. Where these passages actually mount to the actual place here, you can see it's corroded. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a pinhole here. There's multiple pinholes through here. It just needs to be rebuilt. We've got it off and we'll take it to... A... There's actually only one place in town that works on these anymore. So they'll be able to clean it up, weld it back up. And since this is a custom radiator, uh, yeah, we need to fix it. We can't really replace it. No, you can't just go buy one of these. It's. And I suppose you could get a really fancy aluminum radiator and find one that roughly fits and put it in, but the thing doesn't overheat, so it does the job. Might as well fix yeah. it. That'd be the cheaper option. Yep. And I see what's left of the uh, Raptor, but it's outside. It's done, the, the 300,000 mile Raptor? Yes, it's done. The uh, exhaust issue is solved. It drives smooth. It's got your new tires on it. Okay. I guess that means I can drive the Raptor home eventually. Yeah. Uh, but I will leave you the CL65 after an inspection, but which one should we push out of the way? Probably this one. Yeah, since the radiator will be getting repaired for a while. Mm -hmm. So, okay, well, let's move this big berth in. Get the CL on, huh? All right. Well, I'm leaving it in neutral, so that's why he's saying vehicle not in park. But you see the little warning for the collision alert system that comes sometimes. I guess that'll take a plug in to see what's going on but here take a look under the hood beautiful. ain't she pretty beautiful a nice florida car mm -hmm. so nothing all crusty on it there's that sonar unit in the mercedes crest it's tronic yeah but a very tight engine bay not a lot to see no there's not much room around it well, I'll get this thing on the lift. Up she goes. Not a big fan of these chrome wheels. And they're starting to look bad. It's all nasty from the roads and the snow here, which is just never going to stop. But uh, underneath, let's see if it really is the Florida car that I hope it is. Florida can be bad, though, because <laughs> there's a lot of neglect and shadiness with cars from Florida, at least in my experience. So Yeah. Um, I don't see anything wet from the radiator or anything going on right here, through here. Yeah, that's good. The brakes are about 70% used up. Oh, well, that could be expensive. Yeah, but they still got some life left. Nothing loose. Have you noticed any looseness or clunking? No, feels fine there. Okay. Nope, nothing loose there. Can you get an eye on a motor mount? Or a trans mount? They're up through there. You can't really see them. Let me see the other side. There we go. Yes. You see the shield is actually touching the arm? Oh, yep. It's fully collapsed. Yep. So those are definitely dead. Well, we could feel it. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing really super wet. There's a little bit of seepage, but nothing dripping or nothing serious. Transmission is dry let's check this transmission mount 
and you can't really see it. But I can feel it's fully collapsed all the way touching the metal. Oh, so you're giving a sort of a turning cough to the transmission mount and you can just <coughs> feel it? <coughs> yeah. There we go, yeah. So pretty normal. Very common. 15 year old maintenance or 100,000 miles on a Mercedes, the motor mounts. Mm -hmm. Flex disc looks good there. Yeah. Looks good here as well. Nothing leaking on the differential. I'm not finding a whole lot, really. That's good. CV boot is good. There and there. Nothing loose there. The brakes are also about 70% used up back here. Boots are good. That's about it. So no surprises. That's good. Right. I guess the surprise could be when you get into the diagnostics and the computers and things as far as the error codes to uh, uh, what I have. But... Uh, you can do the deep dive there and order me some motor mounts, a trans mount, and the blower motor. That's blower very motor. important as yes. well. So uh, whatever is causing that to conk out randomly. So I guess I can take my Raptor home then. Uh, yeah, oh, you have no, the keys, no, right? No, no, no. I, I, this is, I know this is going to be a big one. So I'm, I'm going <laughs> slower. Wait, you speed up. <laughs> I can catch you. You're pretty fast. I can be. Wow, all right. <laughs> For you to run, it must be a big bill. Yes. It, it must It must be. <laughs> all right. I'm right behind you. Okay, I'm going. I won't fight you. I don't dare. Let me go print it off real quick. Jeez, you're like a gazelle. I am. <laughs> well, the way we're going to do this one, it's a pretty big bill. You hand me the card, I'll swipe it. Then I'll hand you the bill. All right. Must be really bad. So how bad was it? Paid. Uh-huh. $4,009? $4, $4,000. I know literally everything came apart broken in this thing with 300,000 miles, but it was a Ford. So the manifolds, $135 a piece, but the uh, labor to do it, $1,350. It was a lot. Wow. Of okay. Mm -hmm. Suspension was all worn out. That needed to be done. Uh, I blew up that CV. Did an oil change. Of course, your shop supplies for forty-five dollars, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, so now I'm fifteen grand into a three hundred thousand mile Ford Raptor. Yes, but you are. Hopefully, the motor and the transmission are still good. It drives really good. It's quiet now. All right. Well, uh, let me on the CL sixty-five. And hopefully, this Raptor was worth it. Your juke's in the way, though. Is that your winter beater now? Yeah, that's my snowy winter beater, snow weather. Well, I think I just paid for your juke entirely, didn't I? I think so. Well, that was a very, very spicy bill on an old pickup truck, but a lot of work was done. Not having that annoying exhaust leak at startup is nice. It does sound a lot better with those new manifolds that were a pain in the butt to do. And unfortunately, getting those out required taking all of the mounts out, which fell apart. But I can tell a difference in that as well. The engine is just so much smoother because of those new mounts. The suspension too is another dramatic before and after. You just don't realize how worn out something feels until you drive a fresh one. And boy, the difference is night and day with all those new bushings as well. And the tires, of course, the Venom powered tires from Priority Tire, well, they are fantastic here on the highway at speed. I haven't had a chance to take them much off-road yet, but just slushing around the snow, they do feel very sure-footed in low traction areas as well. So Venom Power is certainly something you should check out at Priority Tire, which is linked below. Thank you so much for watching.